99 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999 of them. <laughs> At today's exchange rate, mushroom coins comes to 99 bean bean coins. That's not true. That's not true. Dang, the exchange rate collapsed so hard. Don't you? I thought. Don't you remember at the beginning of the game, I had to get 10. Uh, uh, I gave him 100 mushroom coins, and he was like, "Nope, this is actually." 10 bean bean coins and I was like crap so I had to go all the way around searching for coins that's like, you know they're they're lying we got because we got if we go by the, the 10 the 99 for 10 or for whatever yeah the conversion rate would be much higher than 99 yeah so they're just lying out of their teeth of Rip people off. They uh, what's? It's uh, they they, what's that's like a how much? Ninety nine billion per, or like a over? Well, that's a hundred billion percent difference, right? Like it's kind of insane. But here's another thing to consider as well: is that without Princess Peach, and if word got out that Princess Peach was captured in the Bean Bean Kingdom, then. And I, I guess to look at it like this, another way to look at it as well is that while on the surface Mushroom Kingdom probably is stable, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a kingdom that other countries or other kingdoms will want to invest in because Princess Peach is always getting captured. And if Princess Peach is, is always getting captured, that means that... It's a Cap. it's a risk it's risky investment, and if it's a risky investment, that means that they probably don't have a stable currency, or as stable as it should be, which means that their rate of exchange is probably going to be less than the Bean Bean Kingdoms, and because the Bean Bean Kingdom is more stable, they're probably uh, uh, a stronger investment to be in. So, uh, so in in a sense. <laughs> Still makes no sense. Okay, so in, in a weird way, the Bean Bean Kingdom would be more like the U.S. dollar, and the Mushroom Kingdom would be like, and I'm just using examples here, would be like Russia and the ruble. <laughs> so, yeah. Or if you it want, still makes no or, sense. or another, or a better example, Japanese yen. You know, if you like, three thousand yen is like three dollars. Or the peso, like 3,000 peso is like $3. So, there you go. Haha, -ha. little bit of a business knowledge thrown your way. It still doesn't make it make any sense. Um, it's all about risk, and it's all about uh, risk and reward at the very base of it. So. It makes no sense when 99. Of mushroom coins before gave 10 bean coins, yet a simply higher amount equals 99. That makes no sense. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. But uh, we're going to pretend like it does. No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, without Princess Peach being captured, because Princess Peach was captured outside of uh, of uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, their currency has just completely collapsed. Uh, so there you go. So now it is less stable. And we don't know how much time we've been playing. We've, we've been working in the real world, uh, in real world days here. We're assuming that it's one day, but we're not entirely sure. So. <laughs> Let's go. 